Sometimes I think there's a girl's club that I'll never be a part of. It's got secret rules that I just don't get. Like how you wear your hair and roll your socks, what lip gloss you wear, and how you choose your clothes. Hector, what do my clothes say about me? They say you go to school. No, about me. They don't say anything about you. You're you, and you're wearing a school uniform. Is there some kind of secret code I don't get? I think it's called fashion. Hey, Taylor. What are you wearing to the disco? Um, you are going, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Out. Does anybody ever ask you what you're going to wear? No, I'm a boy, right? Right. Settle down, class. Joan of Arc. Who knows what she did? She got burned at the stake. Yes. Anything else? She drove the English out of France. Just about. How'd she drive them? With a car? <laughs> Mr. Lepolsky, do you know how we remember her? Hector. In chainmail armour with a sword. Excellent, Hector. And also because she wore men's battle gear. No doubt the legend has grown, but she was an amazing person. Absolutely fearless. St. John. St. Joan. Bonjour. St. Joan. Tell me something. How'd you figure out that book? I wear these clothes because I fight. So people didn't pick on you? Because you look kind of weird? Pick on me? They put me in prison. Why? I'm a woman. I'm French. I'm not supposed to do these things. So why did you? To be myself is all I can be. Tyler! Tyler! Look what I got for the disco. Red's my colour. It's really me, don't you think? Uh, great, yep. Mum's taking me back to get the skirt. Have you decided what you're going to wear yet? Uh, don't know, um, maybe this? <laughs> Are you serious? Come on. You have to go. No, I don't. There's no law that says I have to. Year six disco is a rite of passage. I remember mine. I wore purple flares. You could almost wear the same thing now. Video don't still have them. Yeah, bummer. You could probably find a pair in the museum. Doesn't matter anyway. I'm not going, remember? Come on. I'll take you shopping. It's a special mother-daughter moment shopping for your first dance. No way. Come on, Taylor. You know you want to. Yeah, Taylor. You know you want to. No. Not a chance. Not ever. I'm not going to the disco. I'm not going shopping with you. No way. Not a chance. Never. Just try it on. Um, for me. Please, please. Great stuff in here, darling. Mini me. This is bad. This is very bad. What a great shot. Yeah, she's a goblin. Okay, come on out. Come on. <laughs> Darling, you look beautiful. Hello, Glenda. Doing some shopping. For the disco. She's having a little bit of trouble finding the right look. Mum, do um, you know, you might be in luck. We've just been sorting through Brittany's wardrobe. She's outgrown so many things this last month. But they might fit you, Poppets. Yeah, she hasn't hit her growth spurt yet. Mum. Well, anywho, 
The offer's open and the clothes are quite fabulous. Brittany has exquisite taste. Does she now? What do you think, Taylor? Well, thanks, but I couldn't. Oh, don't be silly. Brittany doesn't mind, do you, darling? Not at all. I like passing my clothes on to the needy. No. Gives her a sense of accomplishment. Does it now? Well, that's settled. I'll send Brittany over this afternoon. <laughs> Thanks, I'll try them on later. So I'll just show you some of my favourites. Now, this top is kind of last season, but it goes with this skirt. Nice. And these pants are great. Well, they were the one time I wore them. Ah, uh, thanks. Like I said, I'll try them on another time. Oh. What? Well, it's just, I thought maybe we could do a bit of a fashion parade. That's a great idea. Uh, no, it's not. It's really not. Oh, come on, darling, don't be shy. We're not having a fashion parade. No way. It's you, Squirt, huh? No, Dad. I'm not a three-year-old. Oh. Hey, this is really good stuff, you know. Please, Dad, don't try and find me something to wear. Hey, trust me, I'm an expert in retail. Listen, do you want to know my latest marketing idea? No. I promise you won't tell anyone. Trust me, I won't. Wait a minute. This is great stuff, too. I can't go past these. <laughs> you don't know a bargain when I see one? Hey, what do you... Finally, I found someone I can relate to. Joan of Arc didn't care what anyone thought. Obviously, with that fringe. She was charged with heresy, you know. That's right, because she went into battle wearing men's armour. <laughs> she could hardly go into battle in a frock, Glenn. No. Thanks for sharing that with us, Don. Mum's right. She refused to conform. She fought for what she believed in. Since when have you been interested in football? It's what I believe in. Well, I would like you to take your sister shopping so she can go to the disco. You could buy her a frock. No way. I have too much homework. <clears throat> That's not due till Thursday. I see a triumph coming. I see a beautiful princess on a white steed. I'm scared of horses. Must be Brittany. No, no, it's definitely you. Looks like you're going to a ball. It's definitely not me. I'm not going. Wait. I see shining armor. Could that be me? With armor? Anything's possible. It's not for you. It's supposed to be for me. I thought you weren't going. Well, I'm not, but... So what's the problem? <sighs> what about this one? I wore that when Uncle Doug died. Oh, and you look so cute in it. I was eight. Why don't you borrow your sister's pink skirt? I'm not going. I love you in pink. Why won't you listen to me? Taylor's right, Mum. She looks shocking in pink. Thanks. She should wear blue. Taylor looks tremendous in blue. Why isn't anyone listening to me? I already made up my mind all by myself. I am not going to the disco. And you know what? Someone has a project to finish. Out! 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 Psst. Well, there's the English army. No. Worse. My family. You thought you had problems. What's your name? Taylor. Taylor who? Taylor Fry. Taylor Fry. 
I know. Sounds like a fish dish. <laughs> yeah, Fry's the family name. But I'm nothing like them. So change your name. What? I did. I used to be just plain old Javin, the girl from the village. The name just didn't fit, so I changed it. I became myself, the real me. Hector? Hector! What? I'm considering changing my name. Can't this wait? No. Your name is fine. I gotta go. You know, St. Joan was the maid of Orléans. Maybe I could be the maid of Sunburn. Sounds more like the patron saint of skin damage. You know, you could try and be helpful. How about Taylor of Fry? No Fry. Seriously, Taylor. Don't call me that. I like your name. Well, I don't. It's just not me. I can't believe we're doing this. Interpol are probably watching us right now. I'm warning you, when you go to sew on all the new name tags, you'll really regret this. Sydney H. Bridge. And the H would stand for? Harbour. Yes, I thought so. Here, take this application, fill it in, bring it back when you're finished. Thank you very much. Bilbo Baggins. Taylor Fry. Uh, yeah, that's me. Um, can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to change my name. Uh-huh, and you are? Uh, Taylor Fry. <laughs> You just called me. <laughs> I mean your age. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Do you have a parent with you? Uh, yeah. This is my father, Hector Fry. <clears throat> He's 43. The surgery's taken years off him. <laughs> I see. Well, unfortunately, you can't change your name unless you have both parents' permission. Kids, huh? With the raging hormones and whatnot. What's the point, stupid rules? Hello? They're there to protect us. From what? Ourselves, Taylor. When are you gonna get it? You're fine as you are. Name and all. That's scary, Shock Hector. So, what are you wearing to the disco? Don't you start. About what? About the disco. What about the disco? I'm not going. Why not? I can't do that stuff. What stuff? You know, the girly girl stuff. Secret hair clip code. <sighs> hey, wanna come shopping? I'm getting new craft paint. Be back in a sec. Marge, can I ask you a question? Fire away, Taylor. What do your clothes say about you? I'm at the lower end of the economic spectrum. Why do you ask? Well, you read tea leaves, so don't people expect you to dress in a certain way? Or oogly, oogly? <laughs> This is how I am. Like it or lump it. Got it. So what are you going to wear to the disco? Don't know. You? Don't know. So you are going? I didn't say that. Hey, this is pretty cool. Very you. Hector, Taylor. Hi. Hi. You should see the new skirt Mum bought me. It's so excellent. Don't forget the shoes. They're so cool. You want to see? Uh, uh, why don't we keep it a surprise for the disco? You're all going to look so beautiful. <laughs> so 
So what do you reckon about this? Why does everyone think they have to dress me? I wasn't. Anyway, it doesn't matter what you wear. You always look good. Oh, I am in love. I don't think so. It's true. Uh, I've just got something for you to sign. How do you know how I feel? I might marry him. Uh, just when you've got a second. He's a footballer. So? I haven't even met him. That's it. That is the last time I'll let you into my personal life. Look, I'll just leave it here and when you get the chance, just sign up in line. Oh. That looks like a lady wants my autograph this time. Um. Taylor? Taylor Fry. What's wrong with that name? Everything. Taylor. Fry. Did you try and trick us into signing that? No, I tried to ask you. Oh, this is your birth name we're talking about. I thought you were proud of your name. <sighs> Lately, it hasn't felt that great. Is this about the disco? No. You wouldn't understand. It's me, that's all. That's squared. Uh, don't forget it. Marge gave a tea leaf reading. She saw someone wearing armour at the disco. Perfect. I'll go as a knight in shining armour. And you can go as my horse. Hector. I'm serious. We won't have to worry about what to wear to the disco and Marge's prediction would be fulfilled. <laughs> okay. As long as I'm the knight. I'm definitely the knight. No, no, I'm the knight. You're my horse. You're living in a fantasy land. <laughs> so you are coming to the disco? Maybe. Hi, Leon. Hey. Are you coming to the disco? Yeah, actually, yeah. Maybe not. Oh, Taylor, got a minute. I'm looking at your Joan of Arc project. It really is excellent. Thanks. You put in a lot of work. You coming tonight? Well, I wasn't. Then I was, and now I think I'm not going to again. Tell me, do you think Joan of Arc would balk at something like this? She never had to worry about going to a disco where every little thing was such a big deal. So Joan went her own way. She stood out. She was different. I'm saying I'm different. You're saying you're afraid to be. Importantly, how do you feel? I feel fantastic. It's me. Just me. Taylor! Taylor! You're running. You never run. I bought you something. See? What's this? Wow, it's awesome! I was hoping you'd come. <laughs> Oh, you look cool. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on. Do not. I look so bad. You look fine. Come on. You're just Brittany. You know? You look good. Yeah, and I'm just Taylor. 
Same as ever. You know what? I'm ready to dance. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hiya. Uh, can I dance with you guys? Yes. Uh, you don't look as scary as the rest of them. Selective heart, strictly for brainiacs. Come to selective with me. We need to stick together, Taylor. We need to stick together. Taylor!